couple of Raven scouts take off to take on the cluster ahead of tents ahead. Refugees! <coughs> full of orange dollar! One of them says upon returning. They've got a sizable camp and seem disp disciplined. They know we're here. The scout adds. No sense in trying to avoid them. You take the lead and approach the refugees. A hooded man with a red spear greets you. My name is Bach. This is Lofen. You're Bulwark of the Ravens, and uh, is this your wife? You're confused as much as like, his question was by the fact that no one is with the man. Who are you talking about? This one, I'm guessing, right? Yes. Who is Lofen? He moves his spear towards a foot. Lofen, my advisor of sorts. You look at Fulka and snort. You're the second spearman we met who's a little more who's more than a little touched. The man stares at Fulka, a dangerous look on his face. If you're finished having a laugh, I'll tell you why I've come to you. Fine, but make it quick. Oh, and if you think a foot talks to you, I do have my friend. His axe talks to him. I'm leading a large group of trained fighters and tradesmen from Ormsdaler. We're looking for a new home. And Bach, or Lofen, he's not my foot. We've done what it takes to survive out here, but they're starting to lose faith in me. You want us to reinforce your control? No. I want you to take over. Lead us someplace we can live. Lolfin and I weren't meant to keep uh, for keeping others alive. We're heading past Bindal, but we'll take you there. Bach kisses the middle of his spear and smiles. You have my thanks. Oh, Lofen thanks you as well. 83 clansmen. Which, if I recall correctly, clansmen are the ones that are going to bring us freaking food. Yeah, hey, look, we got 13 days of supplies now. Yay. Yay. We're not starving <laughs> The unyielding snowfall is proving too much for the humans who now vainly attempt to follow your large footprints. In truth, the sky and your surroundings lack enough contrast to know where you're going, and it's cold. T t trees! Over there! Vulcan manages to say, motioning with her spear. The foliage blocks some of the wind, but does nothing for visibility. With no other options, you burrow into the snow, cloaked in your bare fur. Okay. I can someone pulling in the energy. Painful. Yeah. You wake up, you damn bi Oh no, it's the oh, whole thing is the oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Wake up, you damn bear! You're being lobbed! You roar and shake off the foot of snow covering you, an unclear dream still vivid in your mind. Bach uses his spear, Lofen, point to, Lofen to point east. Those clansmen you saved, they killed your guards, they're taking everything. Folk is by your side in seconds, followed by the spearmen. You sprint along the snowy path of stolen supplies straight to the ambush of the bandits originally harassed by the clansmen. Sepha turns to you and smirks. Oh, and I wanted an archer. Stealing from the ravens? You must have a death wish. Oh shit, he's an enemy. I just realized that. Oh! 
all due to you, to what I did to Flash Gordon. Except, Gordon's alive! Oh, he has no ability. This makes me sad. So the end appears in about a month. Are you looking forward to having anything there? Um, I don't know about like if there's anything specific I'm looking for. Um, I'm just excited to go again because I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll see Bailey balanced or. I don't know who's there this time. Maybe men of confidence? I mean, I do like myself some men of confidence. Uh, or the Woo Master? Guy. Hey, look, there'll be something. That's the important part. Yes, yes, there will be. Her armor needs to go up, like, big time. Maybe we can make her eye and try the hot sauce. If they're there this time, we don't know. I think she might be up. Yep, there she goes. But I wish we would get that butters. No, it was that vanilla cinnamon root beer. Mm -hmm. If I could find that bottle somewhere. Oh, I would always get that. Because that is delicious. Ow. You're dead. So, we're not doing too bad so far. The only one that's been going down is Folka, and that's literally because that's kind of her job. She absorbs damage. If you increase her armor, which you maybe should next time you... I mean, we she can level up now, so we can totally do that. Yeah. Like she has that ability of just doing it. And Bach can level up cool. Oh my god, 18? Yes, please. 
Sefa's wounds are great, and she whimpers in the snow. You nod to Folga, who dispatches the bandit archer with haste. This is what... This is what helping folks get you! You roar. Grab all these supplies and bring them back to camp! You tell the ravens after hoisting the barrel on each shoulder. Ooh, tender noun. Um, how bad? Whoops. I keep thinking I'm hitting the right one, but I'm not. She has one more day of injury, so we could give her one more day to rest. Oh, uh, can she to. level up? Yes, she can. She's going to take nine to level up, so we'll have 30 yet. Yes, and then give her all, everything in armor. Put it into armor. Put it into armor! The only other thing, and this will probably be on the next level up, is I want to put Break the Chain at two, because that's just so useful. And Break the Chain is what again? How many willpower error we can use per turn to boost our attack or movement. Oh, yes, Right please. now, she can only do one per turn. Um, next turn, we'll finish off armor and probably put one more into this would be what I would want to do. Okay. This has been freaking amazing every time, just to be able to pump that. Um, let's see here. We can promote you. You'll take seven. Uh, can... Anybody be promoted to level six? You can. Bulwark. Uh, how much does he take again? Thirteen. Yes. Because then we can do the level six item on him. Mm -hmm. We then give us seventeen. Then eleven? You said it takes six for the other guy to level? Nine. Nine. So if we do this one, you'll be down to 17. If we do the other nine, you'll be down to like seven. Eight. My bad. Yeah, eight, eight. Uh, and how many supplies do we have, like, days worth? Uh, quite a few last I looked. I think we have, like, 11. Oh, then, then yes, like, level them both. Because with 11 days of supplies... It'll be 10 once we take that rest, though. Okay. Like, it, I don't have a choice. I have to choose Bear Rage as an ability. Um, so I don't know why it says choose ability. Uh, the Berserker whips himself into a frenzy, terrifying nearby enemies and sending them fleeing in disarray. Affecting enemies are so shaken that they suffer a penalty to their defense for a turn. Berserker also counterattacks any... <laughs> blows from enemies brave enough to strike him. Interesting. I wonder how long that part stays if it's one turn or not. Um, I'm thinking pump it into his strength. Because he's a big strength boy. Yes. Or do, you want, do you want any break the chain? He's already at two, so that's about where I'm happy with. Okay. Um, at this point. If I want to pump it later, maybe. Because now we've got what I think Bulver's main stat uh, should be up at its max. So I would say Break the Chain should come in the next turn. And then from there, uh, either pump this into some kind of skill or give him a little more armor. Okay, fair enough. All right. So you can now take that. Um, and then your turn, we can promote you. And then you already have two on there. I would probably pump this to a second one so we can break more armor. Fine. Um, and yellow is how willpower? How much willpower he can hold total. So I would say pump it up by one. Honestly, I think it's fine at six. Especially because like if the morale is high, we get more anyway. Like, okay. he over his max anyway. Like, this is what uh, he's... He'll start with six at the beginning of a fight is what it is. Oh. Oh, I and thought then, six was max. No. He'll start with six, and um, whatever bonus morale gives us on top of that. So, you know, whether that's plus one, plus two, or minus one, or minus two, depending on where morale is at. So far, we've been holding morale pretty well. Attack? Uh, Yeah, we can do that. We pump it there. Alright. Oh, he's a slaughterer. What's this skill he has? Pig sticker. Oh, that's right. I did look at this in the fight. So, 10% crit chance per uh, adjacent ally. Okay, I thought it was enemy. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, 
that's not bad. So, so if he's surrounded by allies, he could gain like forty percent. Uh, let's see. I believe rank three. So no, no, no. Ten percent chance per adjacent per ally. Adjacent ally. So yeah, if he's let's just assume that he's surrounded by three, he can get a thirty percent bonus. Ooh. Um. And I think each rank is per willpower you put into it. Okay. Passive, embolden, each kill with the character makes in, uh, makes encourages allies to fight harder, granting one extra willpower to the unit and any adjacent allies. Ooh. He likes to keep people close. By the way, I uh, apparently misread. We have ten. How did I math wrong? We both mathed wrong. Huh. Alright, let's get that last rest for Folka. And then we're good to go on the next one. So, are we ready to leave now? We did have 22, right? 22 what? Um, renown before, right? 39. 39? Because... That's what we started at before we started leveling people. Oh. Because we leveled Folka. We leveled um, Spear Boy, and we leveled Bulwark. I thought it was twenty-two during the during the last two. I think it was thirty. Oh yeah, whatever, whatever. Um. Yeah, uh, I'll, so. I'll, I'll I'll check in post and be like, oh yeah, I did math wrong. We're mathing really wrong. Unless we were wrong about how much renown it was going to take to level him. It was 7 instead of 9, which is possible. Potentially. Tracks up ahead, reporter scouts. Follow them, the ways. Small camp, few blades. Meat and mead, maybe more. Leave them. Surprise registers in everyone's faces. So, bears know how to joke too. Folka says. A few of the men chuckle and she whispers, Tell them you're joking. Tell them you're joking. Idiots! Of course I was joking. The tension among the ravens evaporates quickly and Folka chooses fighters for the job. A dozen ravens set out, a mix of veterans and new recruits. They rejoin a couple of hours later with supplies. You hear one of the fighters muttering, muttering, takes the fun out of everything. It takes the fun out of things when they get up their goods so easy. Hey, plus five renown. Uh. Yay! The miners of Bintal are a rough crowd. Not a bad place to recruit new blades. The old wanderer fights his way up next to you. Can't see a damn thing in this mess. Guess old earrings hasn't forgiven you just yet. I don't remember there being much to see here. The way things are going, might not be a bunch of anything left to see before long, Spar says. End of the world or not, I'll be dead soon. But you might come to miss these mountains and mines. A grunt in your response. Uh, a grunt in your response as you both try to make out shapes in the distance. Ooh, watchtower. There's another one back there. Yay! Talk! Yay! Yay! All these people are looking for food and home. Food in the home. It's a good thing I got Miss Piggy waiting for me back home. And I'm looking for ale. Crocky, that's so much to ask. It is when you drink all of it. No. surprised he hasn't cracked open the freaking wagon thinking there's ale in there that we're keeping from him. I bet the scout tower has already sent word that we're here. There's no 
snowstorm is worse than ever if you arrive at the walls of the mine town of Vindal. The gates are closed and you beat a fist against them. Open the fiend gates! You shout. From the wall, two menders look down on you. Ooh, menders? Two menders look down on you, then recede. Soon the gates open enough for half a dozen well-trained guards to greet you. Their one-eyed captain points at you and says, Just you! Olga steps up to your side. Not alone, she says. She comes with me. That's what she said. <laughs> the captain takes a moment to assess the situation and nods. Before following him through the gates, you bark commands to your other ravens to stay close and vigilant. Inside the small gatehouse are two menders from the wall. A woman with a fancy spear and a cup of a man holding a staff. I'm trying to think. What do I want to do here? Uh... Look, a zephyr! Use the raven banner! So it seems. But why? Why now? Just passing through on our way to the Blue River. But this blasted storm caught us. Plan to come back this way afterwards for more work. But now we need some food and a place to hold up. We brought some people with us. They need a good home. I'm sure it felt like the right thing to do, but we're beyond capacity here. Are you Balmark? Balmark Blood Axe? I just realized it's Wario. No, no. Waluigi, oh there my god. There you go. <laughs> Hold your tongue, Nichols. They call me that because I rubbed two nickels together. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about me, boy? I've heard all your tales. I can't believe your cold bear cloak is real. Is that your true? Is it true that your axe handles are made from your own horns? <laughs> the old mender places a hand on the young man's on the young man's shoulder. Wow! I never knew I was traveling with such a legend. You ignore her. Are you in charge here? Where's the governor? The governor left for Abilene a while back. With most of the fighters who settle a dispute. What is this, Oddleaf? What's going on here? <laughs> I'm I just no... missing the cat noises. I have no idea what voice I'm doing. The Mandy Council sent me to bring the people of Bindar West, as we've heard too many rumors of death. More than rumors! We when Bozgard saw Bellwer. The Sunder, the immortal Sunder? How did you escape? Im immortal was a joke. He's dead. Nickel's eyes go wide in awe, but Zephyr looks pensive. What about the great rift open between Bozgard and Ormzolar? We managed! Zephyr looks like she wants to press you for more information. Hey no! Open the gate for my ravens! Mercenaries will only panic the people with everything from arms dollar. It's all I can do to keep them from stampeding. Like wild yaks. <clears throat> Fine. But we'll camp against the lead Lewood walls. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Oh, you have the assistance. You with your shelter. A Volca and her assistant can give you. Funny you won't let us in, but you're a job. But wait, bleh. Funny you won't let us in when you're on job for one of your own. You snarl on Volca. You snarl at Volca for saying as much. For saying too much. She shrugs in response. I'm not aware of another Volca being in this direction. Who tasked you? Juno. Zephyr steps back. Zephyr steps back at the name and studies your face for a moment. Nichols, you and the guards, see what you can do outside the walls for the people. I'll see to it and make sure the ravens are comfortable. <laughs> I think she's gotten more and more ghost-like She's gotten now. more and more like Odlif. She's just missing the Nyaz. <laughs> The young mender nods respectfully to Zephyr and grins at you and Falcon before leading the guards uh, through the gate. I'm inviting you to stay within our walls and enjoy a bit more warmth and comfort. Good, but try anything and my ravens will level this place. And welcome! And no one is going to try anything! There's no need for mistrust! No, no, no! Is this, is this when we wake up again after a nightmare that we're being robbed for a second time? <laughs> Maybe, but I shouldn't have to tell you about my job from your superior just to get an invitation! My superior? No. You misunderstand. You have no job. You have no job. Let me wave my hand in front of your face. You have no job. These are not the droids you're looking for. The Vulcan known as Juno is dead. She is dead. Well... I guess here's a good place to stop, I think. Um. Well, after we get a cutscene. <laughs> or are we going to move to Rook and that's what's happening here? This is the cutscene that never ends. It's not that bad. Yes, we're moving back to Rook. Huzzah! Oh, no. All right, yeah, we'll cut it here. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Yep, laters.